Hello, beautiful. Welcome to day one of the emergency folder challenge. I'm super excited that you are here. I'm Susanna Kay, professional organizer, and this should be a really fun conversation. Now, this is the first time that I'm doing the emergency folder challenge, so I'm super excited to share this with you. Um, hopefully, I'll do it again in the future. We'll see how it goes. But the goal for this week, the seven days in this free challenge, is to create our own quick grab medical emergency and quick evacuation folder. So today we will walk through what this really is, how it's used, what supplies you're going to need, and give you a little bit of a preview about what's coming up throughout this week in the challenge. Now I already see that Donna says that she needs a refreshing look at the process. Hers is complete, but she wants to keep up with the changes. She's excited to be here this week. Yay, I'm excited to have you here, Donna. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you and anybody else watching right now, let me know who you are and where you're joining me from. I do always love to see. And if you have any questions, comments, if you already have a folder set up and you're just doing a touch up, just let me know. I always love to hear that over in the chat area. So this week, right now it's Monday, September 13th, 2021. So if you're watching the replay um, after this week, this challenge will be over. So some of the things, some of the resources I list won't be available. They're only available for this week. But if you're watching during this week, this is what we're working on. Hopefully, even if you're watching the replay later, at least this information is going to be helpful for you. So we are focusing on building an emergency folder. Now, the emergency folder is intended to hold all of the most important basic information that you would need if you had to, say, go to the hospital really quickly or even a doctor's appointment. People bring these to the doctors all the time and the nurses always ooh and ah over how organized they are <laughs> with all of their medical information. This is also really helpful if you ever have first responders, you know, paramedics or uh, anybody showing up to your house and you're not able to communicate to them, and then this is essential for first responders to have all of the information about you or your loved ones that they might possibly need in order to give you the best care possible. This is also super handy if you do have to run out the door really quickly for an evacuation. So we'll talk about um, what types of things to add in here. It's just a couple things, but those things that if you had time to grab nothing else besides the living beings in your home, this would be the next grab. So I see we've got a bunch of people joining us real quick. Hey, Peggy and Wendy and Cindy and all of you. You guys are awesome. Yep, Deborah needs to update her folder because of a recent move, and I'll show you how it's super easy to up update that. Same thing with Linda. I love that you guys are prepared, and I love that everybody is thinking about getting more prepared. And yes, getting one put together for your mom, Cindy, would be awesome. Um, I had, I gave this whole system to my parents a while back. And not only did they feel relieved, but my sister and I felt relieved knowing that we would know all the important stuff if it came down to it. And that's actually what sparked me putting this entire system together because, oh geez, let's see. It was probably about 10 years ago. No, probably 15 years ago. My father ended up in the emergency room and he had to have a breathing tube put in. Well, the problem with that is that he was not able to communicate very well. And there were a number of issues that were going on that had to be taken care of. He could not communicate some of the locations of important documents. So my mom did not know a lot of the most important information in order to get him the best care possible and just keep the house running because he was the one that did all the bills and handled all the stuff. Um, so I realized having this written down for everybody who's important to be able to access it was really important. And I'll get more into that, but that's what sparked me. I'd already been putting something like this together for myself and my organizing clients, but that's what sparked me to think, oh, maybe more people could use this. <laughs> maybe that could be really helpful for more people. Hey, Deb, it's so good to see you. Yes, having a single notebook for everything. Um, and yes, there is a way to do this electronically, and I'm going to share that with you. So perfect. Yes, uh, Donna, it's so helpful. <laughs> Linda says she needs my t-shirt. I got this. You do got this. And she's moving. Oh my goodness. You're busy, busy, busy. And hello, Sue and Liz. Welcome, welcome. All right. So within this emergency folder, I will tell you, I'm going to give you a shortcut this week. If you're registered um, 
through the email and let me put that link up. If you're not already registered for this challenge, then you know for the next few days you can still register. But anybody who's registered, I will share all of my shortcut worksheets that you can print out or they are also fillable PDFs. So Deb, you can type into them and save them wherever you want to. Uh, you can still print them out once you've typed into them and all the things that you've typed will print out too. But these are the key to making this super, super easy. So I believe it's tomorrow in your task email. You will get, if you're registered and you're getting the emails, you'll get this workbook. And it's just a PDF download. You can type into it. You can just print it out and hand write it, whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to make this super easy for you. Uh, <laughs> Dead says, woo woo, yay. <laughs> That's awesome. So watch for that tomorrow. If you're not already registered, make sure to register. Now within this notebook, let's talk really quickly about the supplies because days of one's task. I like to break these all down into like super tiny bites throughout the week. So even if you're working and busy, you can still get these things done throughout the week. T today's task is just to gather all of your supplies. So the supplies that I like to use for this, I like a bright colored, usually I do red because that's something that is sort of universal as far as this is urgent and important. Um, uh, usually red or bright colored three prong notebook. And these are perfect that you can find at the office supply store, anywhere that sells like school supplies, it's just the ones with the three prong. Now, the thing that I do like to make sure though, I like to get the ones that are plastic, not paper, just because this is something that you plan to have around for the rest of your life, probably even longer. Um, and you want it to hold up. You want it to be able to really quickly be grabbed, not have to worry about if a little bit of water gets spilled on the folder or if it gets shuffled around. So this is where quality is going to matter. Use what you have if you don't, if you can't run out to the store really quickly, but eventually get one that's nice and strong. And then inside, with this one, I do like to use page protectors for the sheets within the quick grab emergency folder, just because again, it makes it last longer, makes it a lot easier to keep it safe. And um, it's a high use type of folder, unlike the Spark Life Binder. So I like to use the page protectors. I also like to grab a pocket, a three ring pocket, one for each person that you're going to include in the folder. Now you can do one folder per person if you want to. I just like to have all of them in one folder. So it's super easy to just grab the one no matter who it is and go. But this pocket actually does happen to have a tab as well on it, a divider tab, which is really nice because then you can see who it's for. Plus you have the pocket. Um, I believe in the favorite things, this is where, let me share the favorite things store link for you. And all of these links should also be in the description of this video. So if you don't want to you know, pause and hand write this whole long link, check out the description too. But having a pocket, uh, at least one pocket or one per person is even better and dividers, or you can also use just like post-it tabs, these types of little stick on tabs. These are useful for creating, um, kind of creating your own dividers. If you wanted to do a pocket and then stick one of these tabs, write the person's name on it and stick it on the pocket. But the goal is to be able to label who that section is about and to make sure that each person preferably has their own pocket. And then also one of the things I like to have is at least one, usually more than one, of the business card holders that go in a three ring binder just because that makes it super super easy to enter all the health information doctor's information things like that i like to put one behind each, each person's section as well for all of their doctor and health information and then sometimes i do have just one large folder in the back just for anything general so that's it for the supplies it's pretty easy um printer paper so you can print it out because having a digital version is really good, but it's also important to have a printed version in case you're not able to communicate or your loved ones don't know exactly where to find that digital version. You know, when you have to run to the hospital, it's not always easy to pull up digital. So having a printed version of your digital copy is really helpful as well. Let's see. I want to comment before we move on. I want to see what everybody has. Deb, 
Yes, if you do have OneDrive, all the electronic files can be accessed anytime from anywhere. We will be talking about safety and storage, I believe on Thursday. I think it's Thursday, but we're going to go in depth about where to store this, how to let people know where it's at while still keeping it safe. We talk about like OneDrive versus the super secure storage like LastPass or um, USB drive storage, things like that. So yep, that is one option though, depending on what all you are including in your folder. <laughs> uh, Jenny says, I have everything. I mean, everything. Everything Susanna's recommended. I bought. She put the life she put the life binder together, but has yet to fill it out. Not a problem. That's not like putting it together is the biggest hurdle. You're on your way. It's her project for this week. Yay. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Yes. So having something like that for your daughter's important stuff is super helpful, too. Uh, yeah, so Lynn is still working on her Spark Life Binder. She has everything, so she's been working on updating it. This is a great week to update it. We also have a group hike coming up, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Great encourager. Absolutely. Let me get this banner off the screen really quickly. There we go. All right, so those are the supplies that I really like to use. Now, when you're setting up your binder, like I mentioned, if you're registered for the emails, for the challenge and that registration link is earlier in this video as well as it should be in the description then i will share with you the pdf download for the worksheets um, if you're not yet registered go ahead and register so that way you can get those because you do have to register in order to get that but it's a fillable pdf so you can type right into it and then print it out or you can hand write into it after you've printed it your choice but what i like to do in the very first page you'll find uh, the worksheet within your free download has a medical alert page. Now this medical alert page, this is for life threatening allergies and conditions. And I have had people where this page has literally saved a life because the paramedics were able to see a life threatening medical allergy or things like that to avoid giving them that medication. So I like to put this one first just that way, if a first responder does grab this to go, or if you grab it and have to hand it over to the doctors, even if you forget to tell them about anything that's super, super important, it's the first thing that they'll see. Um, oh, Joanna says that she, her printer's not working. That's okay. Go ahead and follow along with the challenge. You can type into these pages when you get the downloads. And then once your printer's working, then you can print it, or you can always send it off to be printed or take it to the office supply store. Hello, hello. Yay, Janae has everything but the folder. That's easy. Um, Cindy, you just might have maybe your internet's a little bit iffy or mine is, but hopefully it'll come back soon. Um, yep, perfect. Donna has great tips for getting the Spark Life Finder filled in. That's awesome. Um, yeah, Jan Janae, after all the emergencies and disasters in the US, only 2.9% had a grab and go bag or emergency folder. That's so crazy, right? You guys can be that 2.9%. Let's make it 3%. You can do it. <laughs> so within each uh, section, I like to put the checklist that comes with it at the very beginning, just so that way you can make sure that you've got all the different items that you're going to need and kind of keep track of it. You don't need to put it up front, but I like to. And then within each section, like I said, I like to have the pocket with either a post-it flag or the divider pockets for each person. And one of the things that I like to put in here in case they can't, in case you can't communicate is a picture of the person that that section applies to. So this one's little moose pies. Well, he's not little, my, my sweet prince. Uh, you probably heard me talk about moose pie. That's my husband, Jeff, and this is his section. So I have his photo in the pocket and right now he's just updated all of his prescriptions. So I'm still waiting to get his new prescription summaries from him. I'll explain that in a minute. But behind his section, this is where I have all of his pages. And you can put them in page protectors or not. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. It just depends on how long I want it to last. And then I have for him and for me, the business card page right behind it. So my section's a little bit more complete in this sample because I... Well, I know what my prescriptions are. They did not just change. So I've got my picture. It's best to have a picture without anybody else in it. But these are just the ones that I had on hand. And it's obviously like Susanna is probably the girl. Jeff is probably the boy. Um, 
But within the pocket, uh, I would have all those regular pages. I have my business card page right behind me, my section. So that way I've got everything. We have one section for Kayla, our daughter. Um, but in that pocket, so in my pocket, you know how you get these summaries from the pharmacy whenever you pick up a prescription. These summaries list everything that you would need to know really quickly about that medication. So if you just grab those summaries and stick them in the pocket of the person that's taking that medication, so my, my prescription summary, I just slide right into that pocket, then uh, the first responders, the doctors will know absolutely everything that they need to know. They know who prescribed it, they know the quantity, how many refills, the dose, um, they know the manufacturer, it even lists, most of them list all of the information about possible side effects and reactions. So this is extremely helpful to nurses and paramedics who need to make some quick decisions. If you just put these summaries, whenever you get a brand new medication, you don't need every single one that you pick up if it's the same as before. But anytime you pick up a new medication, just grab that summary and put it right into the pocket of that person's pocket in the folder. And that way, all of the most up-to-date prescription information is in here. And usually whenever I get a new medication, I just look through and make sure that there aren't any old ones in there. So that's the super, super easy way to make sure that all of your prescription information gets into your emergency folder without making it a big production where you have to write everything in. The other time saver is having these uh, business card pages. What I do is I just take a business card from any doctor that I regularly go to. I have a photocopy of my health insurance card. Any of that important information can go right here. You can put your blood type card if you wanted to, owner, organ donor information, anything that you need would go right into those little um, business card slots. So hopefully that helps. Next, we're just gonna go through just really quickly uh, what types of information are in there. Tomorrow, I believe we're going much more in depth into that download and what information you would want to put in there. Let's see. Oh, yay. Uh, <laughs> Moose pie and SK. I like it, mouse pie. Um, yes, the organizer pocket. I think that I found them in a strange place. I believe on that favorite things link that I was able to find them again. If not, I found the closest thing that I could find. Um, a page protector could work instead of the vinyl pocket, but it's a little bit more difficult and cumbersome to grab this and go because you'll find that if you slide these prescription summaries into a page protector, there's nothing keeping them in there. So I have found that the pockets are definitely worth it if you can, because I'll show you. So if you slide the summary into a page protector, the problem is if this gets jostled around upside down, see how it starts to fall out? So keeping it in the pocket is just going to make it a lot easier because if you're in a grab and go quick emergency situation, then you don't want to worry about not having it spill out of your folder. That would not be helpful. Um, yes, Jana says vaccine card. Yes, put your vaccine card in here too. And actually we just updated this whole emergency folder packet. You'll be getting the most up-to-date one and it has a slot for some of your vaccine information, medication information. It's got some more pages that you can fill out. And yes, a page protector would totally work until you get the vinyl pocket. Oh yeah. And anything will work until like temporarily. So you don't have to make it perfect the first time because just get it set up and then you can always update it to what you like better later. Um, yes, you could use blue, blue painters tape on the top um, or a binder clip. Uh, what is it called? A paper clip, things like that. Okay, so just super quick, tomorrow we'll go much more in depth into this, but the types of things that you will put into this folder would include the life-threatening allergies and conditions information. Also basic information about the person. So um, name and address, health insurance information. If you have any letters of instruction, you can put a copy of them or an original depending on what it is. So if it's like a DNR that do not resuscitate, you probably want an original on the right color paper. Check your state's requirements. Each state is a little bit different about what color paper it needs to be on, but you might want the original 
in maybe even the very front of it. Um, copies of anything, locations of originals, all the information like organ donor information, blood type, and then also emergency contacts. What are your local contacts? Are there any family contacts that are not local that should be reached out to? Regular allergies that are not life-threatening and conditions. If you wanted to handwrite anything about medications until you get those summaries or in addition to. Also vaccine information. So that way you have all of the vaccinations listed that you've had so people know if you've had your rabies and tetanus or not rabies that's pets tetanus <laughs> vaccine things like that and then an area for notes so that way if there's anything that's special to you that you wanted to include then this is the place to write it in those notes section the other thing that i like to do in this folder because i do also use it for a quick evacuation is in one of the pockets i keep all of the pets vaccination records um, current rabies and all of those various vaccinations that they need. So that way, if you had to evacuate to a shelter, then you can grab your pets. You've got the vaccination information because a lot of shelters will not accept pets that are not vaccinated. And that can be a hard thing to try to find as you're running out the door for a quick evacuation. Thankfully here in Florida, you know, we usually just have hurricanes. We don't have a lot of quick evacuations. Uh, but if there ever was a fire or something like that, where we'd end up in a shelter or having to board the pets. Having those is so essential. You can also just put anything else that you would possibly need for a quick evacuation, any of the paperwork that you would need, um, extra keys, a USB drive of your Spark Life binder, anything like that would be super helpful to just keep right in that pocket of your emergency folder. And you can keep a full USB drive if you want to within a pocket of your emergency folder as well. So that way you can keep additional information there nice and easy. Oh, I'm sorry, Cindy, that you're having trouble, but hopefully, yeah, the replay hopefully will work out for you. So just to let you know, this emergency folder, you've heard a couple people talk about the Spark Life Binder. This is the full Spark Life Binder. So the Spark Life Binder has the emergency folder, which I'm gonna give you that worksheet packet for just the emergency folder tomorrow if you're registered. But the full Spark Life Binder has a place for all of the other papers that you could possibly need and that your loved ones need to know about, all the other papers, all the information, and it's got those same fillable worksheets. So that way it's just an easy download. You can type into it and print it or handwrite into it. But that's just one small part of the full Spark Life Binder system for all the rest of your information. So just a heads up, that's what people are talking about when they're talking about their Spark Life Binder. And Throughout this week, you can grab the Spark Life Binder. I only offer it twice a year. So this is the last time that it's being offered this year. It's probably gonna be about six months or so, I believe, until that's offered again. So this week you can grab the Spark Life Binder. You can also this week have a free webinar. Let me share that with you. It's the Important Papers Worksheet. So, ah, Ruth says that the full binder is worth every penny. Aw, I love that. That's awesome. So um, oh, let me, there we go. Almost making a right mess of it. There we go. Okay. So with the Spark Life Binder, um, the Important Papers Workshop is a free workshop going on a couple times over the next two weeks, this week and next week. And then it's done for another six months, but it's free and it will tell you how you can build your own life binder like this and it will give you the opportunity if you did want to grab your own spark life binder and not have to put it all together yourself and create it if you wanted to just grab those digital downloads of the worksheets then it'll also allow you to grab the spark life binder and give you a bunch of bonuses which is super nice to have but if you've not already registered in the description of the video as well as on the screen that's the registration link you might need to you know pause this write it down or just go to the description. But that free workshop is packed with all of the steps to making your own life binder or working within the Spark Life Binder, whichever you choose. It's absolutely worth attending that free workshop. So go ahead and register for that one because that covers all the rest of the papers that are most important and all that other information that's really important to quickly grab. Um, let's see. Donna says, most insurance companies also make it possible to run a list of your medications. 
doctors now have vaccinations in online form for you to just copy. It's so true. That's absolutely true. Good tip, Donna. So you can always ask your doctor. You can log on and download your prescriptions a lot of times. Um, just put the printout in your quick grab emergency folder, and that's really helpful. Oh, yay. Donna says the full binder goes into detail and every section provides you loads of ideas that will fit your personal need. Get it if at all possible. Oh, yay. I love the Spark Life Binder. I love that everybody that I hear from also loves it. It's awesome. Um, yes. And Jana says, if we already have the Spark Life Binder, we'll be getting any and all updates, right? Yes, yes, yes. So like I mentioned, the free download that anybody who's registered for this free challenge will get tomorrow, I believe, of all the emergency folder pages, you'll be getting the most up-to-date version of the emergency folder worksheets. Also, I believe yesterday, if not then by tomorrow at the latest, but I believe yesterday, we uploaded the most recent version of the Spark Life Binder to your online library. So your online library, you can go to SusannaK.com if you've already purchased you know, if you purchased anything from us, then at SusannaK.com, that's where you log in. But if you've grabbed your Spark Life Binder in the past, then you can go to SusannaK.com, click on login. In your library, you probably already have version 6.0, the most recent updated version of all of the worksheets in the Spark Life Binder. And then later this week, you will be getting an email from us. We just, we wanted to get it up and available first. And now we're working on putting together the email and putting together all of the pages that were updated. So that way, if you already have the binder and you filled it out, you don't want to recreate all of the worksheets and type things back in, then we'll be breaking down just the pages that are new that you can insert into your current Spark Life Binder as well. And we'll do that as a little pack and email all of the Spark Life Binder owners. So whenever we have an update to the Spark Life Binder, that core Spark Life Binder, that's what we do. We always share the most recent version with everybody. Let me get this off the screen. There we go. My goodness, I swear. Today, me and technology. I'm just thinking slow. <laughs> But yay, Sheila says, time to go shopping for supplies. She can't wait to put this together. Absolutely. So this week, we have several live sessions. Let me pull up my little calendar so I even remember. So today, day one, obviously, we're live. And if you ever can't make it to a live session in the Facebook group, we will have all of the replays. Um, it's the Home Organizing Challenges with Susanna K Facebook group. There's the link for you. In the guides section, you will have all of the posts, the tasks, the um, replays, your emails. We will also email if you're registered. We'll email out the replay links as well for you to make it nice and easy. We're trying to make this easy for you. So today there's a live. Tomorrow on day two, we are talking about, I have to look at my little cheat sheet because otherwise I tend to forget because there's just so so much going on, which is exciting. All right. So tomorrow we're going more in depth into what information to include. So if you don't want to use the worksheets or if you're watching this um, after those worksheets aren't available anymore, once this challenge is done, those worksheets won't be available. We'll go into what information to include and how to create some of those pages and the core foundations. We're going to talk more about um, taking your brain out of the system with things like this emergency folder and the Spark Life Binder and also making decisions only once. And that's what makes this work. It's what makes it super, super easy. So you won't want to miss that live. It's going to be really good. And then Wednesday, we do not have a live session on Wednesday. Oh, sorry. Tuesday's live session will be about um, more about what information to include. The daily task is going to focus on downloading your free worksheets. So Wednesday, we're going to be filling it in and I'm going to give you the easy, easy, easy way to fill in your emergency folder. And if you're playing along this week and filling in your Spark Life Finder as well, which, oh yeah, Karen says that she loves her Spark Life Finder. Oh, I'm so glad, that's wonderful then you can use the same system, the methods that we're going to talk about on Wednesday to fill in your entire Spark Life Finder if you want to as well. So we're talking about making filling this in super easy. And then on Thursday, 
we have a live at 11 like usual but this is going to be an emergency folder focused live we're talking about how to put this together what special pages you can add how to customize it make it your own so the task is covering how to put it together the facebook live is talking about the tricks to make it your own um make it so much easier and how to do it with all the rest of your important information and then also this thursday is the first important papers workshop so if you've not already registered, then definitely register for the Important Papers Workshop. If you already own the Spark Life Binder, your Important Papers Workshop replay is in your online library. So when you go to SusannaK.com and log in, then you can watch that workshop anytime, the replay of it, anytime within your library. So you don't have to worry about it expiring. But if you've not already bought the Spark Life Binder, then the only way is to register and to watch either live or there's a there's a four day replay available. So Thursday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern is our first important papers workshop. And I try to do weekends and evenings so that way it's a little bit easier for people. I do one during the week, two week nights and one weekend, I think, something like that. But there are not a lot of sessions. And then Friday, there is not a live session on Friday, but we're talking about, you know, we're gonna let you catch up a little bit if you've not completed all the tasks, but we're also talking about how to maintain it, uh, both the emergency folder and the Spark Life Binder, if you have the Spark Life Binder. How do you maintain your emergency folder super, super easy? Um, so that's what we're gonna talk about on Friday, how to make that super easy. And then Saturday, Saturday, we will be live again at 11. And we're talking on Saturday about how to back it up, how to share it with your family, where to store it so first responders can find it, um, important people can find it, and you can quickly grab it, but also how to keep it safe since it's got some essential information in it. We wanna make sure that this is super safe. So the task is talk about backing it up and sharing it, and the live, we're going much more in depth into keeping this safe and making sure that it's accessible. And then Sunday, uh, Sunday, we're actually going, the task itself is about backing up, but Saturday, the live is about um, backing up and sharing it. And Saturday, it's also about where to keep it. And then, yep, Saturday the 18th at 1 p.m., we have our other important papers workshop. So that one, like I was reminding you, there you go. So that important papers workshop, that's where you can find out how to create your own Spark Life Binder if you want, or you can grab for a limited amount of time, grab the Spark Life Binder if you wanted the shortcut. Either way, the workshop will help you with whichever method you choose. But this way you will have absolutely everything that you need for that workshop. Uh, Laurel asked, what time is the important papers workshop? This Thursday, it's at 6 p.m. Eastern. Saturday, it's at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then next week we have uh, Tuesday at 1 and Thursday at 6 p.m. Now, when you go to that registration link, it will list these various times and you can select which time you want. If you can't make it live, there will be a replay available for four days after that session that you choose for you. So um, when you register, you'll see those times. And I think that it even converts it to your time zone, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, that's my goal, Sheila. Uh, Sheila says that she loves how this takes the guesswork out of what you need. And that's why I put it together because my ADHD brain, you know, if I don't write down my decisions and write down exactly what I need, then my brain starts to question things and it gets overwhelmed and it's not sure. So having it all just listed out, this is exactly what you need. You just fill in the blanks. It makes it super, super easy. So you take your brain completely out of the system and you just go on autopilot, which is such a relief. Uh, so, yes, I'm so glad that you like that. Um, our, yes, so Jana asked, are both of the Spark Life Binder videos the same information, just times and different times and days? Yes, they're exactly the same. The only difference is that I'm live, so some of the chit-chat <laughs> might be slightly different based on what the comments come in. But other than that, exactly the same, just different times and days. And you're so welcome, Laurel. Now, if you've not already registered, for the emergency folder challenge, remember to register so you can get that free download or cheat pack tomorrow. Make sure to pop over there. This link is also in the description. Um, also, if you wanted to find out 
more about whenever I'm going to go live. Um, if you wanted to find out if there are any other events coming up, um, I think I'm going to send out maybe one notification before the last important papers workshop, anything like that. If you want notices sent to you by text, then go ahead and text the phrase events one. So E V E N T S and the number one with no space text, just that phrase to the phone number 407-214-4420. That's my text number. And I can add you in so you can get all of the text messages of events that are coming up. Uh, you're so welcome. Okay. So, hey, Kay, nice to see you from Wales. Welcome. So glad to have you here. Well, if you need anything else throughout this challenge, make sure in the Facebook group, that's where we're commenting. We've got the posts going on. I'm sharing additional resources and information. That's where all of the fun communication and chatter is. And that's where all of these replays will be. They'll be in the guides section of the Facebook group, which is the Home Organizing Challenges with Susanna K Facebook group. The link's on the screen. Um, so make sure, stop by the Facebook group, check out the guide section. Everything is also going to be posted in there. You're so welcome, Pamela. And here you go, Janae. Awesome. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you enjoy this challenge as much as I am excited to share it with you because this has been such a huge difference for so many people. I just got an email this morning from someone. I've not even had a chance to read through it all, but you know, I got to skim it really quickly about how just recently she, her husband had to go to the hospital and having this quick crap emergency medical folder made it so much easier for her. So just being able to take this with you along to the doctor's appointments, um, even if it's not an emergency, I bring this every single time to the doctor because then I can just hand it to them when they say, what prescriptions are you on? You know, all of that information. I just, there you go. So. We'll talk more about how to make the most of it this week. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, the same bat time, same bat channel at 11 a.m. Eastern time again for our day two live, our Tuesday live. And I know you're going to do amazing. Remember, you got this. I got this. You got this. We're going to have a great week and you're going to feel so amazing when you have this quick grab folder set up so you know you've got everything at your fingertips. You can do this beautiful. And I'm here to help you. I'll talk to you very soon. Go check out the Facebook group right now and leave a comment in the Facebook group. Post if you already have a folder or if not, post a photo of your supplies that you've gathered or your folder that you have. Just make sure not to you know, post personal information. Don't post the pages, <laughs> post the front. <laughs> but take a picture of what folder you have or what supplies that you gathered that we can all see what each other are building and check out all of the unique and creative ideas that you all have. I love you. I will talk to you very soon. And happy Monday, Sherry. Bye, loves.